Hello everybody, welcome to PTZ Optics Live. This is episode 25 and we're happy to be here. Yes, we're so excited for today's episode. It is tripod mania around here. <laughs> tripod extravaganza. Yes, he um, prefers extravaganza. <laughs> I prefer mania. Okay, well I can't blame you. Um, it is craziness out here. We've got so many tripods to show you. Big shout out. Everyone's getting photo credit, by the way. Christopher Sabato. Um, Jason Jenkins. I'm just going to quickly do you some shout outs. You at Clank. Akeem Cry Saunders. Out Radio TV. Jul Akeem Saunders. I think it's supposed to be Julia Finney. Julia Finney. Uh, Dewey Evans. Chris Hegwood. Uh, Michael Baker. Bernard Connolly. We got a whole group of guys with really awesome tripods we're going to talk all about. So, whether you, the, the question for you, if today's show is going to be interesting to you or not, is are you tripod mounting your cameras and going mobile and getting out there and, and, and getting the shots, or are you um, going to be permanently installing the cameras? We do a mix of both. Uh, in our studio, pretty much everything's wall mounted. Mm -hmm. But we do go out there and set up tripods just like you guys. I can't believe how amazing some of these tripods are. So we're going to jump into a really cool presentation to share it with you. Yeah, so let us know in the chat if you have permanently installed your cameras on a mount or if you're using a more mobile tripod setup. We went out to the user group to our uh, ride or dies and asked them to share a photo or video of them using a tripod or mounting solution with their PTC Optics cameras. And we, the response was overwhelming. Thank you guys for participating. and We're going to share them today. Yeah, the only other thing I was going to mention is that this is a live show, as always, so your comments will be showing up. We're going to remove this lower third now, and we are going to have your comments show up live from Facebook and YouTube. So ask away, jump in there and ask questions. If you share a picture, you can copy a link to a picture into the Facebook chat, and Tess can actually pull it up. So if you didn't make it onto our presentation, still want to share your tripod picture. Gene Greenwood was mentioning a tripod slider for the PTZ cameras. Crazy. If you've got a picture like that, just share it in the Facebook. It doesn't work on YouTube. And Tess can actually pull it in just like this. What does this comment say, Tess? This is from John Barker. Mobile tripod setup for me as I'm always on the move. Cool. Well, we're going to show you some... I am just surprised. Let's jump into our presentation because I can't believe some of these uh, some of these tripods are just out of this world cool. So awesome. So PTZ setups, tripod setups for PTZ cameras. So we'll, we'll jump right into this. So a lot of shout outs. Everyone's getting credit. We made sure that all the photo credits are in here for everybody. Um, this is some amazing stuff. We are going to jump right into it. So the single camera tripod. You can't beat it, right? We've got one right here. Um, these tripods are quite nice. Um, they come in all kinds of sizes and quality. Is that quality. the same brand? It looks we like a very tell. similar That's brand. Easy. This is the QSX. This is Michael's tripod. This is Michael. Why did you buy this tripod, Michael? Because um, it, it was free with my purchase in the Amazon. Oh, <laughs> uh, was it? <laughs> the truth <laughs> comes out. The truth comes out. Free with the Amazon purchase. Oh, Just another note more. about um, Dewey's little studio here. This is a garage uh, retrofitted studio space, which was pretty oh, cool. Yes. I remember when he set that up and shared that with us in the user group. So he's looking for maybe uh, the position of being able to move that tripod around his uh, studio space. You can space see it's in a garage. Yeah. Because you can see the he garage built this there. custom curved wall for himself. Such it's really cool. a cool custom uh, wall, which again, stuff like this you could learn about in the user group. He was great about posting throughout the whole time. Mm -hmm. Very cool project. And... Um, yeah, so, so it looks like he has a very similar tripod to what Michael got here. And this is a pretty sturdy uh, aluminum tripod. I would say that this will work. Now, I will say that another tripod that, that are like $20 or less on Amazon, they can really not have enough stability to be usable for video. They, maybe you can use it to take a picture and snap a picture, but when you need a long-term camera that's stable for video, you really want to think about stability. And everyone mm -hmm. that's using these, you'll see, have very big, sturdy tripods. Yeah, you can never be too safe there. So uh, the next one is, this is actually a really cool one. This is the single tripod, uh, but it's called an on-stage stand. This is from Chris mm. Hegwood, and he's got some really cool stuff. He shared with us the product link 
from on stage. And uh, this is the on stage view. And these are really it's like a, just on... a pole extendable. It's a, it's a, it's what's called a speaker stand. So it's okay. a much more powerful, larger stand, a speaker stand or a light stand. And we'll go over these in more detail when we stand over here. But here's one here. They look a little different. The top is just a slightly different with the ability to, it's not, doesn't, it's not meant for cameras. They're much bigger and stronger, but they allow you to get up higher and, and go further. So we're going to, we're going to show these in our studio as well, but that's what he's showing there. Yeah. Questions? What does that, what does this comment say? Here to record says we are looking into ceiling mount soon as we will mm -hmm. be building a little home studio for our future YouTube videos and we want that sweet overhead shot. Oh, definitely. In fact, this camera here, this is We're the still camera working on that, that for this I studio. miss the most. I miss this camera so much. In our old studio, this camera, you can even see right on the bottom, it's got the, the metal plate there and I'm waiting for them to put it up on the ceiling because I used to love that over the top shot. Um, it will come. If you're going to do it, get a white camera. It looks great on the ceiling. But, Good um, point there. Let's see when we get time to put that camera in. We've, already, we've got seven cameras, so I've got one more port left. And we just put in this cool camera. I think camera. That, that's got to be it. I don't it. know if, Mike, can you show this, new, this cool new camera? Um, which actually I think would be nice in, at this shot real quick because this shot, which you'll see here. Um, overlay. There's probably an overlay on top. There we go. So here's a, this, is, this is our new kind of backstage shot, which I really like because it during the pre-show it gives a nice... But anyway, I'm getting off topic. You can see my VMix social over here. But that's the do-do-do speaker stand right there. And anyway, we'll show this off in, in better detail. That doesn't make any sense to do that. Sorry, <laughs> let's go back to the presentation uh, shot there. That makes no sense to show it off that way. Um, so... My, Chris Hegswood um, has some really cool stuff. That's a close-up there. Mm. Uh, you can see that we have... What's that um, screw called? Well, it's quarter 20. Quarter 20 screw. And <coughs> he shared with us, actually, all the part numbers, so we'll go over them. Here's another shot, a uh, different production. This is Christopher Sabato from Willamette University. He's uh, live-streaming a basketball game here. And uh, you can see that just, again, one tripod, Standard. one camera, which is very, very normal, but... Wait till you see what we get into it's in this like presentation. It's like old, old trusty. This is old trusty, old faithful. Here's another old faithful here. Um, very interesting setup. I can see that a line this is in a microphone. Stand. We're getting yep. a microphone using the line in, in audio from the boom mic. Nice POE on the box camera. So yeah, you're right. I, you're, Tess, you're totally right. The microphone is plugged into the line in. It's going over uh, an RTSP, maybe NDI soon for the box cameras. It's a 20X. This is a great little uh, studio set up from Michael Baker. So I wanted to share that one. Here's another single camera tripod. This is a cool one from Bernard Connolly. We're going to take you into this one a little what larger. What a cool space. Was this maybe graduation? This is a college lecture. Uh, oh, they were talking they're talking about, about climate, climate change, change you can in see 2017. It. The blues really put you in that setting. The blues are super cool. And we've got some extra pictures from that one we'll show in a little bit. But that's just the single camera. POE, single Ethernet cable. And then here's Jason Jenkins. Cool. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is that you can clamp these cameras to bars and different things. So Jason has accessed all these things at DVE store, and he thought to himself, look, there's a sturdy metal bar there. Mm -hmm. I could just clamp it to it, tighten it on, and then this one... I wonder what that one, space is. I've, oh, this was... Uh, have you ever heard of Benji and... Oh, the big YouTubers were doing a fundraiser that he was nice. live streaming. But um, this clamp mount actually has a tripod arm, which is quite cool. I've used these myself. Here's a picture of me clamping two cameras to the back of my Forerunner and uh, setting up a mobile uh, video production. There I am there. That's the, that's the little mount there on the back of, our, back of my truck. Um, here is, again, Bernard Connolly from that climate change. Look at this. Now we're getting into the double camera wow. space. So this is really cool. I think he's got just enough space there so that the cameras you know, can kind of pan and tilt and zoom on their own. But He's feeding audio into the camera as well. Nope, he's got audio coming in. Um, everything's over PoE, plugged in via Ethernet. And uh, I'm sure the questions are rolling in, Tess, so feel free to... to um, 
to display them as, as needed. What's this one here? Uh, it's just as a, a funny comment. That is a monster clamp. I, oh, yeah, that clamp, this clamp was Bernard a monster. Bernard is specifying it was a climate lecture for EPA. Oh, a climate lecture for EPA. Bernard, thank you so much for these pictures. I love this one. This picture just, oh, this one. This picture is just incredible, um, showing the cameras there really in action. Um, this is Bernard uh, giving us a little bit more detail on, on his, his production here. Mm -hmm. And I love looking at the details. You can see he's using a K&M. I'm guessing that is a speaker stand adapter. I tried to order some for this show, and Amazon is just so backed up because of the holidays. It never mm -hmm. came. But look at that. You just put that right on the top of a speaker stand, and it gives you basically the ability to put two cameras on a single light stand. Very cool. Very cool. What comment Showing do you us have his little V-Mix setup. And this is a suggestion from Ted. It says, Lowell Lights makes some useful clamps and mounts. Lowell.tiffin. And you put the link in there. Ah, perfect. Thank you, guys. Share, share with us your Bernard comments specifying live. specifying power over Ethernet and PTZ audio for that yes. setup. Uh, yes, exactly. And that's what I want to take a quick, closer look at here on the vMix setup. I don't know if you can make this input larger, but um, you can see here that, that and I love when, and uh, thank you so much, Bernard, for showing the actual picture of vMix. That's the part that a lot of people forget to take a picture of is the actual video production. But you can see here when it says PTZ camera 2, that means that that's a virtual input. That's a PTZ input um, from the main camera. Since vMix can do PTZs, uh, you can see that it actually automatically will go to it. So that's just a closer look at the vMix setup here. So I can see camera one, two, and three, mm -hmm. and then PTZ camera one, PTZ camera two, PTZ camera three. Nice. And those are preset positions that he's set up. So very cool stuff. I see he's running everything at 1080p 30. And he's got, I can see three cameras. There's the two and then the one here with that really cool K&M setup. So very, very cool, uh, perfect example. So a, another person here, um, Chris Hegwood from the University of Baltimore. It might be University of Maryland. Um, I, I want to say um, Maryland. University of Maryland, I think. You told me earlier, Maryland. Okay. I think it's University of Maryland. I'm sorry if it's University of Baltimore and I got this wrong. Um, but he's really gone out of his way to show some amazing tripods. And this one in particular, I have to show a full video for because this is super cool. And if we can take this one full screen, it's, it's just incredible. So here is, um, this is, this is his, his single camera setup. Okay. Um, really great um, setup here. He's using... I have the uh, the link to what he's using, but light using not just a regular camera tripod, but a really big speaker stand. Um, here is the double flanked shot. I love twin this sisters. setup. This is these are the twin towers. Um, I guess that's taboo now to say that, but um, look at those. I mean, double cameras spread out, and great oh, clamps the underneath there. shot. And then here's the two here's the two twin sisters. I call this the twin sisters because okay. they're closer together. That makes sense. See, they're close. The other two are like the flanking warriors, if you will. But look at that. Thank you so much for sharing that one. Um, just a great video. You can see that these speaker stands are just really high quality. And so we've got some more videos, by the way, we'll be sharing. But that was just one I, I really was interested in in showing you guys. So the, the double camera tripod, so cool. Uh, thank you, Chris, for that. Here's his double. And then he's using Ultimate Support TS80S speaker stands with mm. the onstage stands EB97060 speaker bracket and the SS7920 dual pole mount bracket. And the thumb, stool, the thumb screws are actually Velo CS1440. 14 camera screws so little little intense there uh with the with the part numbers but it's all available on our blog we're going to keep all the details for other people who are trying to learn how to do this chris some of the coolest looks like most reliable tripods with multi-cameras i have ever seen Ooh, that's saying a lot. We're, we're digging into a lot of tripods here these are some really cool we actually have some ones that might be a little cooler just because of how many lights and other things. That They're the, all we cool. We saved some interesting ones for the end, no, but, but from a practicality standpoint and 
like the stability of what these look like they can do. I'm so jealous. That's I want that. Uh, that is exactly what I want. Is I want that Santa, dual are you listening? camera tripod. And I want to go out to a show with exactly that. We'll see so what your cool. Elf on the Shelf reports. I'm going to build one of those. And we'll uh, see. In 2018, that is so cool. All right. So uh, a couple more pictures here. I just love how wide it is. Because uh, when, you, when you've got one zoomed in and one wide. You have some you just, space that to be able camera. to have you know, a wider range before you see the other camera. It just like looks that. so freaking cool. So here's the, the, the next one here is the teleprompter. Um, the teleprompter is is widely used. This is something um, we do. We've got one right here, um, which we'll show. Tess and I are going to walk over here and, and show a little bit after our presentation. But highly used. The great thing about teleprompters is that you can shine the camera through the glass, mm -hmm. but the glass can show. Yeah, these teleprompter attachments for tripods are perfect with our cameras. So we shout out to one. shout out to Cry Out Radio TV. Uh, we should have shown the one that you just installed. Sorry. We were helping a customer, but and Tim from VMix, the live show last night, was just talking about how a lot of people, when they've got all this live streaming and video production software, they're they're using it to create short little videos as well. And the tribe, the the teleprompter is one of the best tools for creating great little videos. Yeah, especially if you're new at like talking at a camera. So it Christopher nice. Hall has an interesting comment for us. Yes, Christopher said, very nice. One thing I would recommend with using speaker stands is adding sandbags to weigh it down. Oh, that's very smart. I have a question for you, Paul. What if, and this uh, happened with us at Key Financial yesterday, they have a really cushy carpet under uh -huh. their tripod. Oh. So it seemed like maybe it wasn't, you know, super duper stable. Mm -hmm. Is that normal? Is it safe? And we were just worrying or is there a solution that you could think of for that? If there's like a soft, maybe Mike can jump what if in you're here on sand? With, with your behind the scenes camera. Cause, cause I know Mike has had a lot of, um, experience. Well, we were kind of stumped. We were trying to figure it out together. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So I guess one of the things like for tripods is to always put the third, I guess, foot, forward so if your tripod always if it falls it's not falling forward and uh it won't break your camera so it's interesting it's, it's, it should be pretty simple but i you know we were at the we were at the clients and it was switched around and we don't want the ptz optics camera to get broken so you know we fix the tripod for them and try to give them some more stability yeah i Let's guess see. that it, if you if you don't want to buy a whole new tripod um, one of the things you can think about doing is if making these legs, I'm going to flip this up a little bit here, make them as wide as possible. Mm -hmm. And if, if, you, if you have the legs as wide as you possibly can, all three of them. That offers more. It offers more. And if it's still not stable enough, you need to get a bigger tripod. A bigger tripod would yeah. be the suggestion. Okay. Or maybe cool. a speaker stand. seems like a lot of people are going for the speaker Jeffrey's commenting stands. on the use of the teleprompter with the pan tilt zoom cameras. And yes, it can be a challenge because you don't want to pan you know, too pan much because then yes. you'll see the border of the teleprompter. So yeah. it might not be a use for all situations, but if you're doing some sort of presentation directly to the camera that you need that support... For it's a good solution. Yeah, I mean, I personally like it because it's, and you could even be a Z cam, for example, but it's nice that you can remotely zoom it and pan it a little bit to the borders and actually have presets without the person who is on camera even knowing. Yeah. You know, you could have a, a close up shot, a little bit further away shot. Um, you can't go too far left and right. So maybe a Z cam is, is ideal there, but. Uh, it, a lot of people are using these for teleprompters, and I think the remote control portion of the teleprompter, just having it out there, there's even remotely controllable teleprompters, which uh, they were showing on the vMix live show last night. Forget the name of it, but you can control the whole teleprompter from your iPad. Mm -hmm. So uh, having the whole thing remotely controlled is, is quite nice. Getting some good feedback and... If you at Key Financial are watching this, uh, you can read the comments here and maybe find some help for that. Yeah, that was so nice of you guys to go out to a local, a local customer and, and help them out. And, uh, it was fun. Give them a little time. So Tess made a little uh, picture here. This is just a, a segue picture into what's coming up next. But we have, um, we showed a few of these. Hewitt is going to uh, come with us eliminate, soon. Here, try and eliminate, yeah. So this looks like the same thing we have here. And I don't know what the name of it is. Yes, that is... 
I, I'm not, I, I think it might even be a little different, but it's, it's, it's basically like an extension arm with an a, extension with arm a that you would screw twine. into the wall, a wall, or maybe clamp so you have to a wall. Middle, you have adjustments there. Yeah, but that's a more permanent solution. This one over to the right with the light on it, that's a sneak preview to what you're going to see. Um, there's a company called Manfrotto that has all of these adapters, these pole adapters for cameras. And that's just a sneak preview because we're going to show you a lot more. So next is jumping up from the tripod to the speaker stand. Okay. And uh, the speaker stands uh, are, are just built to hold bigger they things. They scare me just looking at them because it seems like such a small little point that's holding yes. the camera on, but this they is, work, huh? Saunders, uh, or Akeem Saunders uh, from Saunders Consultants uh, made these custom. We got a little video to show what he's done. He really went out and about to, to, to do this. Um, he custom cut a quarter These are one of those like, custom invention type Totally situation. custom invention okay. where he cut metal and things. A lot of people might not want to have to do that, but he went ahead and did that. Um, so we'll show a video from him in a moment. Mm -hmm. The next one, which is uh, equally as popular, is there a comment Is this here our biggest read? tripod that we've ever seen? This is the seen. biggest tripod I've ever seen. Tallest. Tallest, for sure. Look at the size of this thing. We just go... It's called... There let she is. Let me see is. if I can find the name of it. Oh, and there's the outward... U.S. The video outdoor Sports. Um, it's called the... It's called the something Hawk. I think it's the Jayhawk. Skyhawk Sky or something. Hawk. I think it's called the Skyhawk. Something like that. It's something like the Skyhawk. And uh, so that there it is outside. There it is. Look at the size of the legs on this thing. It's like the, each leg is like six feet long. And um, that's what you need to do this kind of thing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That, that really is a tripod. That's not like cemented into the ground. That's a tripod. God. So so Christopher Sabato actually came on our show. So that would be like that would be like Paul there, Mike there, yes, and me there. The three just holding pillars <laughs> of, of the tripod world. Um, and and Michael or sorry, uh, Christopher uh, showed us how he He's used here. an outdoor camera enclosure. Um, dot and works. I a dot works outdoor enclosure. And I think I think Christopher said that he actually had a custom U mount that US sports video connected Skyhawk. it. No, the Skyhawk. So you're right, it is the Skyhawk. And it connected it to this stuff. giant pole. Um, but out in, um, now we're talking about, not Oregon, we're talking about, yeah, Oregon, right? Yep, Salem, Oregon. Salem, Oregon. And we're talking about uh, an area, of course, Christopher is uh, originally from Buffalo, but the uh, we're talking about an area where it can rain, it can get foggy, there's a lot of... Um, precipitation in the air yes you know like a bunch, that's all the way best way i can put it so having an outdoor enclosure even if it's not raining in that type of climate is still a good idea mm -hmm. absolutely anytime so, you're trying to leave cameras out for an extended period of time yeah and i think it gave him a little bit of freedom to maybe leave the camera out overnight if he had to if he absolutely had that's to. a big setup Here's just a couple more pictures that Chris sent us. Um, here is the PTZ camera in the DotWorks enclosure um, opened up, and you can see he's got two weather-tight cable access. Uh, to I think he runs uh, one power over Ethernet cable and one HD-SDI cable, although he also, I think, ran a Cat5 that was converted to serial for DB9 control with a serial joystick. Uh, you can see it from across the field there. I'm sure that gives him a great view of the soccer game from that. that that's really what you want for sports is to have a nice high view. Um, that's very normal. And then we've got um, just a closer, a closer look at it. So Skyhawk by U.S. Sports Video. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Muscles. Look at that. And maybe it's not as heavy as you think because it's aluminum, but it's got to be heavy. Is that a football helmet or something? Yeah, it's a football helmet. Oh, top. cool. There must be so many football uh, companies that use that. All right, so now let's get into the fun stuff. Now we're talking about specialized tripods, special tripods built for purposes. This is the Multi coolest. Multi-purpose tripods. The coolest one I've seen. Yeah. This, is, this one actually wins All right, the let's start at the bottom. It's on wheels. Yes, with locking casters. With locking casters, whatever that means. Yep, so that means you can lock those wheels as soon as you get it in place. And, um, you know, it's not going to run away on you. <laughs> I guess if, it, if there was or a slight tilt or something. Or you can move it around from room to room if you're, oh, like, yeah. you went and using that co-working space. Mm -hmm. You can just move he from area just to area. You can roll this in. Um, I, I don't know how it's powered um, because... I see some wires wrapped around the bottom, but it's... I'm wondering it's if he has a battery pack with it, possibly. Behind the monitor. Mm-hmm. 
And there's are, there are ways to access NDI over Wi-Fi. So, I mean, it's possible. So what do we have here? This whole thing could be uh, powered by a battery. But I don't, I don't think that's how he uses it. But let's talk about what we have here. Because this is interesting. Confidence monitor? Confidence monitor, yes. So that monitor probably is plugged in HDMI directly from the camera. Mm -hmm. And then the Ethernet or the SDI is run back to the video production streaming area um, separately. So we have some sort of attachment for the camera as well. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, a light. A very nice looking light. I think we have another picture. Oh, this is, this is just a really cool one that he had as well. But that, that, I, think was, that I think was prototype one. Yes. And this is, I think, is prototype the two with the bigger, the bigger, more fancy light. Um, and then here, here it is out in the field. Um, well, you're right. I don't know either. I don't that, a, uh, with the lights, because, you know, like those, what are they called? Those studio lights. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you consider these lights an upgrade from that, that we have? Yeah, so. no, I know. And he has a diffuser on there. Or maybe it's just a diffuser. It's the it's a very nice diffuser okay. on top that he's got I, he actually got a couple different pictures so I'll, we'll show them but he's got the cameras there. They're obviously powered over ethernet cuz there's no power plugged in. Um, this was a talk show that he was doing. You can see he's got two of them set up, two lights and a, a little a little like kind of cool backlight. Oh. A little green light. So you can tell he's really putting things together. Lapel microphones I think go right into the cameras. And then he's got his joystick there. So Hewitt, amazing work. Before we get on to the next one, I'm going to go ahead and play a little um, clip from Hewitt. I'm not going to play the audio. I'm just going to just kind of kind of walk you guys through this. So Hewitt gave us a little a little uh, a little look at it. So there's his light with a diffuser, but it, that's the hu that's a honeycomb diffuser. Remember the honeycomb yes. test that we were working with? So the honeycomb directs the light more forward. And cuts down the light a little bit, but more directs it forward, which is nice. And then he's got, so he's got the light attached to the stand at the top. And let me know if there's any questions in the chat, because I know this is getting... What is a tripod dolly? I think that's what this is. It's like a tripod. A dolly would be like it's on wheels. Because some people seem like it's comparing it to a tripod dolly. Yeah. Or knee triangles to give support. Oh, casters. Mm -hmm. oh, so it seems like there's a battle between um, the tripod shape, you know, for the support, or mm. something that's flat, like the, like the uh, rolling caster like a with cart the wheels. Or yeah. mm -hmm. And there he has his, I, I think that's a Manfrotto mount with a, an LCD VESA mount um, that's kind of like a little arm that also attaches to the, the tripod. So he's got the camera and the arm holding a, a display all on wheels. And it looks very sturdy with a light on top. I mean, really, so cool. really a cherry on top there from um, the light perspective. He goes into quite a, oh, look. He's I mean, that's a just a perfect example of somebody who's mobile. I know Hewitt uh, limits himself to like two boxes yes. to carry his setup around. And he's making, it's really smart that he's making multiple uses out of one device. He's like, all right, I have to figure out a solution to have my light on here, my camera mm -hmm. here, and my confidence Oh, there's monitor. a power strip happen. down there. So that's how he keeps it all so neat. Mm -hmm. So he's got a power strip on there. There it is. We were wondering. It was we're hidden. Like, wow, it's so hidden, so nice. Um, so he can just roll up somewhere, plug it in and fire it up without having to, you know, really do too much setup. I saw two wireless microphones on a little tray. Mm -hmm. That must be an upgrade because I didn't see that last time. Yeah. So he's really it's put really a lot cool of work into this. really cool creative stuff here. Um, so we got the tray. I mean, that is really just the light, everything. Now, the last one we have for you guys, we're getting to the, to the, to the end here. I know it's been a long presentation, but there's just so much cool stuff. Specialized tripods, Akeem, has also done something similar, but not a dolly. This time we're talking about, oh, that's, a big, that's our last big thanks for everyone in the, in the user group for who, who helped us with this. But um, another person here, here's Akeem. Ooh, sorry. Ooh. Akeem has everything in a box. He created a custom box. So he's got a box. He breaks everything down for us. He's got a tripod, a little custom box that fits the two cameras mm -hmm. with the phone that comes with the cameras. Oh, yes. I remember him showing us this setup. In his little box. And then he's got a little uh, L LCD mount that fits right on the tripod there. 
So he sent us this little video. Thank you, Akeem. Uh, you can see there he sets it all up on a speaker stand. So that's an interesting way with the, the idea of having the confidence monitor right underneath the camera on a stand. I like it because you can look directly at the camera without yes. deterring from that. And that's been a great use case for our cameras in general since they all have HDMI, so it's so easy to just plug it in. The only other thing I didn't see, which I really want to do, is I want to have that tray with a joystick, and I could see having a camera in a sports uh, environment, even that dual camera mm -hmm. setup. I think that's what I might do. Exactly what I saw with the dual cameras, and then I'd have a tray with a joystick and a monitor, so I could see what I was doing, and then send the SDI HDMI back to the production studio. There you go. That's what I'm thinking. Big thanks to everyone in the user group. Couldn't have done it without you. You guys are amazing. Uh, came and brought all of those pictures so everyone could kind of learn and see what the opportunities are. So awesome. Let's jump into the post show and yeah. uh, show off what we have. We don't For have anything For those of cool you really quick have. that um, aren't in the user group and are wondering what we're talking about here, you can feel free to join the user group. We're always talking about cool stuff like this and trying to get feedback from you guys, so we really appreciate it. Uh, you can head to facebook.com slash groups slash PTZ Optics Pals if you want to join in the fun. All right, everybody. We'll see you in the post show. Thanks for tuning in. We're listening to your comments, your questions. Keep them rolling in, and we'll answer them shortly. Stand over here. Behind my so should we not? Here, let me pull myself to the side so we can see, and I could just hang out in my little chat over here. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you can. You can hang out in the chat. I've got the tri. To be able to uh, kind of hang out with the tripods, if you will. Um, tripod number uno, we have here. This is just a standard. Um, real. It's really just a standard um, tripod. Nothing too crazy about it. We've got the. PTZ Optic Z cam on here, and it's nothing too crazy. We don't, most of our this cameras is the basic setup. are ceiling mounted. This is the, um, this here is our um, teleprompter. Of course, normally there would be a black sheet over this side, and there'd be an iPad here. Uh, we got this from Caddy Buddy for only like a hundred bucks. So, very, very cool. Um, and I see that uh, John is saying fantastic ideas take away. Thanks everyone for sharing. Tom's comparing us to uh, to uh, streaming idiots a little bit. It's a giant infomercial. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hopefully we have a lot of info. But he says there's a lot of info, so that's good. <laughs> um, We're happy to are great. inform you, Tom. <laughs> this is from Caddy Buddy. Very fun one. And then finally, this is just. A standard speaker stand, so nothing, nothing crazy here. I tried to order the speaker stand adapter that would that would uh, adapt to um, put a camera on it. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, UPS is just crazy right now. Did they tell you that it was going to be delivered? Like where? It... They they basically said there could be delays. Like, oh god! When I looked at it, it was like two day delivery. You have to be careful with Amazon Prime. They're like two days, but maybe ten because right now it's I have crazy. some stuff coming in for Christmas. You're making me nervous. Yeah, you got to be careful with them. But what I will say is that I'm glad I didn't get it anyway because I'll probably return it because what I learned from Chris and the other guys out there about their on-stage adapters and everything, I'd much rather have those anyway. Chad says, I don't mind the tray for wireless receiver and electronics, but anything that you touch should not be on a combined function tripod. Nothing you touch be located with the camera. So you don't like the idea of combining a tripod for multiple uses. Oh, that's a good point. I was mentioning that, and that is so right. I mean, you should have a separate table for the joystick. You're right. Wow, I'm glad you said that because you're, you're so right. A tray? like Because I was talking about maybe having a tripod with a camera and then a, a tray for the joystick. Oh, and, I see what but, you're saying. But, you know, every time you touch it, everything will... Yeah, so you're right. It has to be a separate table for the joystick. Duh. I'm so glad you said that. 
Bernard says, so my question is, does anyone have a small ball head that could be used on top of the double speaker stand? Sometimes need to level to background rather than bubble level. Hmm. That was our, what we found out with. <laughs> Tess, that was what we had the issue with at our client yesterday when we couldn't get it leveled. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, instead of messing with the tripod bubble and the tripod legs, we got the other... I don't know the correct words, but the middle, yeah, the bubble that's in the middle oh, you just to centered. go up and down. Yeah, you did center it mm. that way. Oh. Got it. Okay. John is saying, Paul was late to the vMix show last yes, night, so us viewers decided to do a 20 uh, push-up punishment for, or, oh, us viewers decided 20 push-up punishment is in order. Yeah, they do. Do we have a floor camera set up? Oh, thank goodness we don't. All right, go ahead. I can't even do 20 push-ups. No, I can. I better do it. I was so late. All right, I'm gonna do it. Oh my God, he's going to do it. Here we go. I they was I was so late for the show. Here, get the back camera on. <laughs> <laughs> what is this I'm show turning done. into? <laughs> Fifteen. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, there. That's 20. <laughs> You're a good sport, Paul. It's true. Everyone was saying I was way late. There it goes. That's the push-ups. I was way late. I deserve it. Whew. That's funny. Rudy says just do a high five. Apparently, we can't uh, perform yeah, can a proper high five. Look, high at my, look at my elbow. Right. Look at my elbow. There. Okay. You have to look at the person's elbow. Oh, if you look at the person's How elbow, you can't miss. How far have I come to? Apparently, we can't properly. I'm gonna turn the color temperature down a little. We look, look a little blue. Look a little Camera, blue. or it didn't happen. <laughs> we do have a little mic stand for Mike, don't we? Or did we bring it up front the other day? Oh, uh, we moved it somewhere. We did. It's up front. Yeah. Doc says we Mike didn't see the mic. first ten, so they didn't happen. Ah. They want to see them all. The new Regis and Kelly show, <laughs> Gerald says. <laughs> I wish, maybe someday. I like that shot you're lining up, Mike. It's got like the video production in there at the bottom and us in the background. These are the kind of shots for the post show that are perfect. You guys can see what Mike's up to in his uh, you know, video production world. Uh, you can see what we're up to from a couple different angles. And, uh, you know, and at, for the post show, I, li I like the kind of just like in the, like Laid we're not back. really in the like zoomed in shot necessarily every time. They're all giving you a hard time about push ups. What? More push ups? I'm like getting red in the face. <laughs> no, it's like, oh, you didn't do good ones. We didn't uh. see them. <laughs> Well, I it, look, you can take it up with Michael that you didn't see them all, okay? You didn't count them out loud as you did them. Should we have, um, do you really want me to put a floor cam in? Because if I have a floor cam. Oh, gosh. Cam, what are you guys doing? Now he's going to do a floor cam. You'll be, you'll be able to see that Tess doesn't even wear shoes. You guys don't want to go there. <sighs> don't count them out. Sorry. I'm just kidding. We're going to have to cut, cut this, this part of the... We'll cut, we have to cut the post show from here on out now. All right. We might chair up. Apparently, I'm too dark, but I'm like <laughs> way back behind you. I'm pretty tan, so... Just kidding. Girl push-ups? I'm not doing any push-ups. Yeah, right. On this floor? Mm -mm. Oh, they saw me do girl push-ups. I, I did a few girl push-ups just because... You did? Yeah, just because I wasn't sure if I was going to get to 20... So Aww. I did a couple of girl push-ups. I shouldn't even be, yeah. Don't just, you don't admit that. <laughs> don't I started that. with, I pumped out like five girl push-ups and then the rest were, were How do our live shows take us to <laughs> push-ups on the ground? I don't know. We're going to get a call from corporate. Yeah, we got it, guys. Please, uh -oh. let's stay on Hair topic here. stuck in my glasses. Um, he's You're ready for the Air Force <laughs> or Navy. As long as we're all having a good time. Yeah, and learning as the PGC Optics products. <laughs> so what else? Are we still talking tripods or are we done? I think we're done, guys. 
Um, what a good presentation. Really couldn't have done it without all of you guys Seriously, submitting your pictures. We would be like, so we have three tripods. Uh. Would, would love it just for one last minute thing. Um, if anyone wants to try, this is something I want to kind of let everyone know what you can do, is if you want to copy and paste the link to a picture into Facebook, Tess can show it on the live show. And it's just something I want to start doing a little bit more of. It has to be done on Facebook. doesn't work on YouTube. But All if right. you copy and paste the link to a picture, so go ahead and uh, open it. So if you but paste... But that's a link. Yeah, it, so, but it, you, so you have to go to the link and then right-click the picture and copy the link to the picture. All right, you want to do it just for testing. Just okay, for testing. Okay, well, here, here. This is perfect. Copy image address. Uh, no, not that. So you'd right click it, you'd hit copy image. I forget how we did how we address. did this. Copy image address. And then I post it in the Facebook chat. Boom. There we go. That should work. That should work. And then uh, Tess can now pull and that's a picture of a link. That's a picture of something here. Thanks, Chad. I appreciate it. We worked really hard on the presentation. Gerald says, We are on topic. We're discussing floor cams. Yes. <laughs> As long as there's a camera involved, we're good. All right, here we go. Here's a great example. So Tess just took this picture from the internet. What? Let me try a different comment. That works fine. We just did it not long ago. Maybe, does it have to be a picture too? You have to put a... What? We just did this I know, last show I know or two shows on. ago. Hmm. It should at least have the link, don't you think? That rhymed. Huh. I did notice that um, vMix Social finally started working with uh, emojis because I showed did it some did? emojis. Yeah, I did some emojis, and uh, Tim and Martin pulled them Tim up on the show. Tim and Martin. Great show. Great show. All right, we better sign off now. Don't you think? Yeah, I get a little sad sometimes. About what? Signing off. I know, we don't want to, but I think we have to. We did our job. We did our job so well today, Tess, with the presentation that we literally can leave a little early, I guess. <laughs> no, Hi, don't Frank. say that. We're not leaving early, Matt. He's trying to get us in trouble now or something. More than he already does. Nice new tape on your glasses, Tess. Oh, somebody caught the tape on the glasses. It's not going anywhere. There's a huge difference with the look and feel in the new office and production. Congrats. Thank you, Gene. I think it does look a lot better. There's still a lot that needs to happen to make this perfect. A lot of white balancing. We definitely killed it on uh, the lighting, I think, today. Lighting looked, the lighting looked amazing today. Nice. Good. That's what we were going for. Eyebrows on par. Nice. Did you? Uh, did somebody comment that? Or are you just throwing that in there? No, I would just think that our eyebrows are on par. Oh, good. good eyebrows. I don't good know. Eyebrows. Things are getting crazy. It's the holiday season. Yeah, we're, we're we're getting we're getting a little bit of vacation fever. Michael's not going to be here on Friday, and that's scaring us a little bit. We're welcome to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's headed out to Miami. We're literally back to basics on Friday on our own. Yes. Paul's going to have to produce everything. Uh -huh. Must be really hard for him. So. It is. It's going to be hard. I do like this shot, though. The lighting is really just good. This shot is, yeah. I'm like, I feel like. It's the new Gene and Regis show or whatever. Kelly and Regis. <laughs> You're Kelly. I'm Kelly Rippa. <laughs> she is like ultimate role model. No, Juliana Rancic is my role model. Oh. All right, guys, we better sign off. Thank you so much, everybody. And Luria, of course. And of course, Luria. How could she not be? Happy holidays. We'll see you guys Friday. See you Friday. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, subscribe, all that good stuff. Join the user group, facebook.com slash group slash PTZ Optics Pals. Check you later.